This is Story Recapped. Today, I'm going to explain an action, adventure, and drama film called Snow White and the Huntsman. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Queen Eleanor finds a blooming red rose amidst the snow. She pricks her finger from the thorns and sees how vividly red her blood is against the white snow. She wishes to have a child whose skin is white as snow and lips as red as blood with the strength of the rose that bloomed in winter. Eventually, the queen gives birth to Snow White. Snow White grows up with the beauty and strength her mother wished for. One day, Snow White brings an injured crow back to her mother. Queen Eleanor admires her daughter's compassion, seeing it as a good trait when she becomes the queen. Soon after the queen passes away, King Magnus leads the battle to defeat a dark army who turn into shards of black crystals upon death. They defeat the dark army and find their prisoner, Ravenna. The king quickly falls in love with Ravenna. On the day of their wedding, Snow White compliments Ravenna's beauty, and the future queen returns the compliment. Ravenna shares that she also lost her mother at a young age. On their wedding night, Ravenna recounts how she was once ruined by a king, whose old queen she'd replaced. She ponders how she will eventually be replaced, Ravenna believes that men ruin women, and as she says this, King Magnus realizes that he's been poisoned by his new wife. Ravenna then raises a dagger over her head and drives it to the king's chest. After the king is dead, Ravenna lets in her own army, led by her brother, Finn. In her bedroom, Snow White hears heavy footsteps, so she steps outside, only to find her father dead. Ravenna finds the child, and Snow White runs away. Outside, the castle is in chaos. She sees her friend, William, and reaches for him, but a dark knight pulls her away. William's father, Duke Hammond, orders the knights to save the princess. Snow White is saved and carried on horseback, but the rider gets killed. Snow White drops from the horse, and the castle gates close before she can escape. William begs his father to save her, but Finn takes Snow White, so Hammond rides away to save his son. Ravenna wakes up to her new tower, where her knights prepare a large gilded mirror. Ravenna asks the mirror who's the fairest of all. The mirror melts into gold that forms a humanoid body. The mirror man assures her that she is still the fairest. Ravenna then orders her knights to execute all those still loyal to the king. She orders her brother to lock up Snow White, believing that her royal blood may still be of value. During Ravenna's reign, nature began to wilt. For years, she kept Snow White imprisoned in the tower. Suddenly, another woman is tossed into the adjacent cell. Greta recounts that Ravenna's men took all the women in their village. She tried to escape to Duke Hammond's castle, but got caught. Snow White is surprised that Hammond is still alive and reveals herself as the princess, whom everyone believed was dead. Snow White then asks about William, but Greta doesn't know him. Meanwhile, Ravenna watches the villagers fighting for water. She reminisces when she and her brother fought for scraps when they were young, believing that she's a kinder queen than in the kingdom they grew up in. Later, two men are accused of ambushing one of their supply trains. Ravenna recognizes that the men are father and son, pointing out how the son is handsome, unlike his father. The son steals a knight's dagger and stabs the evil queen. Ravenna pulls out the dagger, harmed but barely wounded. She then digs her nails into his chest, as if to rip out his heart while the father begs for his son's life. Ravenna releases the son, who collapses on the floor. She then orders the knights to allow the father to return to Hammond and share her so-called generosity. In her tower, Ravenna mourns for her wrinkling skin. To regain her beauty, Finn offers Greta to his sister. Ravenna lifts Greta by the neck and absorbs her youth, causing Greta to age instantly. Snow White later sees Greta return to her cell. Ravenna asks the Mirror Man who's the fairest of all, but the Mirror Man claims that Snow White has come of age and is now fairer than her. He warns Ravenna that Snow White's innocence can either destroy her or save her. By taking Snow White's heart, Ravenna can become immortal and no longer need to feed on another's beauty. Quickly, she orders Finn to collect Snow White. In her cell, Snow White finds a crow at her window which shows her a loose nail. She grabs the nail, but Finn soon arrives. 
Snow White pretends to sleep while hiding the nail under her pillow. Finn quietly opens the door and approaches her. When Snow White asks what the queen wants from her, Finn answers that it's her beating heart. Suddenly, Snow White stabs Finn and escapes, locking him inside. She then goes to free Greta, but sees that she's old and withered. Greta urges her to go without her, so Snow White runs. Finn soon escapes and finds Snow White running out of the castle. Knights surround her, but the crows direct her to the sewage. Snow White dives in and makes her way across, until finally, she jumps into the ocean. When Snow White swims ashore, the crows lead her to a white horse. Snow White rides the horse to the woods while the knights chase after her. Soon, they reach a swamp and the horse gets stuck in muddy water. With the knights close by, Snow White continues on foot. Snow White reaches the dark forest and struggles to find a way out. She inhales some dust when she trips and starts to hallucinate. Still, Snow White pushes herself to escape until she's knocked out. In her castle, Ravenna is furious that her brother let Snow White escape. When Finn reveals that Snow White was lost in the dark forest, Ravenna hits him. Finn then fires back that he's given everything to Ravenna, but Ravenna claims to have done the same for him. Since Ravenna's powers cannot reach the dark forest, she orders Finn to find someone else to hunt Snow White. In the village, a drunken Eric gets beat up by another man whom he owes money from. Eventually, Eric is abandoned in the trough, where Finn and his men find him. Eric is taken to the queen, who's heard that he has ventured into the dark forest. Ravana orders him to find her prisoner there, but Eric refuses, knowing that he'll likely die there. Ravana threatens him, but he doesn't care, since he has lost everything. Ravana deduces that Eric misses his deceased wife, so she offers to bring her back to life in exchange. Eric leads Finn and his men to the dark forest, following Snow White's trail. Finally, Snow White wakes up and runs. Eric tracks down Snow White's footprints while she fights her way through branches until she finds a tree to hide in. Suddenly, Eric grabs her and is surprised that she's a young woman. Finn then arrives, so Eric asks what they plan for her. Eric threatens them to give him what he wants before he hands over the girl, but Snow White argues that Finn will just kill them both. When Eric throws his axe to Snow White's throat, Finn is angered and reveals that he was foolish to believe that the dead can be brought back. Eric lashes out at the men, defeating them while Snow White runs. He and Finn fight until Eric kicks him to the ground, making him inhale the dust that causes him to hallucinate. Eric then tracks down Snow White and demands to know why the queen wants her, but Snow White refuses to answer. Snow White then asks him to help her reach Duke Hammond in exchange for a hundred gold coins. He becomes suspicious of the large reward, but he accepts the deal. At Duke Hammond's village, the father that the queen released shares the news that Ravenna cannot be killed and that Snow White is alive. Meanwhile, William leads another ambush on Ravenna's supply train. He expertly shoots arrows at the knights until all are gone. When he returns home, Hammond reveals that Snow White is alive. Immediately, William plans to find her but Hammond refuses to lose more of his men. He points out that William doesn't know the Dark Forest, so William decides to find someone who can help him. In the Dark Forest, Snow White hallucinates being surrounded by snakes, but Eric hacks into them, revealing that they're just branches. He then cuts her skirt to allow her to move better. Meanwhile, Finn gathers more huntsmen to find Snow White. When Eric claims that all royalty are rotten, Snow White defends the king. However, Eric argues that the king is the one who invited Ravenna in, unaware that he's talking to the princess. William soon offers his services to Finn. After he defeats their bowman, Finn accepts him. Soon, Finn's team reaches the dark forest and follows Snow White's trail. Eric and Snow White reach the edge of the dark forest when a troll attacks them. Eric fights the troll, but gets thrown off. When the troll aims to punch Eric, Snow White yells at the troll. The troll roars back at her, but doesn't attack. Instead, it allows her to approach it. The troll then quietly leaves. When the two reach a lake, a group of women offer them a ride to their village. The village is full of women, with all the men gone. While a woman tends to Eric's wound, she realizes that he doesn't know who Snow White is. Later, Eric confronts Snow White, having discovered that she's the princess. Snow White admits that she didn't tell him because she didn't trust him. That evening, 
Eric leaves and the villager follows him. Wondering how he could abandon Snow White, Eric argues that everyone he cared for has been taken away, so he needs to get away from her. While Snow White and the rest sleep, the village is burnt down. She takes the child with her from the house and escapes as Finn and his men search. William sees Snow White escaping. Before he could get to her, another hunter fights him. Eric hears the commotion and runs back to the village. He defeats the man and searches for Snow White, but she's gone. The villagers escape to their boats, but Snow White is captured. Eric defeats her captor, and the two run away. Meanwhile, Ravenna continues to lose her power in the castle. She remembers when her mother cast a spell on her to make her beautiful, so she could use it to her advantage. Soon, raiders took Ravenna away from her parents. In the morning, Eric and Snow White reach a forest. He apologizes for leaving her, and Snow White regrets bringing the fight to that village. Suddenly, a group of dwarves capture them. Eric recognizes the leader as Baith. The dwarves plot to kill them, but Eric bargains to pay them. When they don't believe him, Snow White warns them that Ravenna's men are hunting them, but the dwarves don't believe her either. Snow White reveals that she's King Magnus's daughter, which their elder, Muir, confirms. Finally, Finn's men arrive, so the dwarves free Snow White and Eric. The dwarves take them to the sanctuary, where the fairies live. Snow White is astonished by the life in the woods. They spend the night by the campfire, but some of the dwarves are still skeptical of Snow White. She thanks Muir for defending her, and he points out that her father was a good king. While she dances with Gus, the others note how their illnesses are getting better, wondering if it's Snow White's effect on them. Baith then asks Eric why he's helping her, and he admits that it may not be just because of the gold. In the morning, Snow White is woken up by crows. Fairies come out of the crows' bodies and urge Snow White to follow them. The dwarves wake up, seeing her walk around the forest. Finally, she finds a large white deer and approaches it. The deer bows to her, and Muir sees this as a sign that Snow White will bring back life into their land. This convinces all to follow Snow White. Suddenly, an arrow hits the deer. Eric quickly takes Snow White while the dwarves search for their attackers. Eric and Snow White split up so he could fight Finn. William finds Snow White and defends her from another hunter. He reaches for her but gets knocked down. Before Gus attacks him, William introduces himself. Finn knocks down Eric and taunts him for not being there when his wife died. Angered, Eric shoves Finn into a broken bark, letting the woods stab him. Ravana senses her brother's pain and collapses. Finn begs his sister to heal him, but she's powerless. Soon, Finn dies, and Ravana mourns. A man shoots an arrow at Snow White, but Gus blocks it while William shoots the attacker. Snow White comforts Gus as he bleeds. He promises never to leave her just before he dies. The dwarves gather around Gus to pay respects. As Gus wished, they swear their loyalty to Snow White and give her his sword. As they continue the journey, William apologizes for having abandoned Snow White before, but she reminds him that they were only children. That evening, Eric urges William to tell Snow White how he feels, stressing that he'd regret it if he didn't. The next day, William and Snow White walk in the forest. William believes that the world will be beautiful again when she becomes queen. The people hate Ravenna, but Snow White doesn't. She only feels sorrow for her. William assures that her people will rise to fight for Snow White once they know she's alive, but she doubts she can lead. William remembers how she led him when they were children. Though Snow White remembers differently, the two finally share a kiss. William presents her with an apple, and Snow White happily takes a bite out of it. Suddenly, Snow White chokes as the apple is poisoned. Eric sees that Snow White is gone, so he wakes up the real William to search for her. The other William transforms into an old, withered Ravana and raises her dagger. William and Eric arrive, and Eric swings an axe at Ravana. Suddenly, she turns into a flock of ravens and escapes. William falls to his knees, seeing how Snow White is dying. Eric begs the dwarves to heal Snow White, but they cannot. Snow White dies, and William mournfully kisses her. The dwarves carry Snow White's body to Hammond's village. While her body is in their castle, Eric drinks his sorrows. He recounts how his wife saved him after the wars tormented him. He regrets how he let her die, and how, after her death, he returned to his selfish ways. Eric never cared for anyone again until he met Snow White, as she reminded him of his wife. He apologizes for failing her, 
and kisses her goodbye. When he leaves, Snow White suddenly wakes up. Meanwhile, William urges his father to fight in honor of Snow White's sacrifice, but Hammond stresses that he needs to protect his people. Just then, the people sense something as Snow White returns to life. They gather before her and she encourages them to fight, revealing that she knows how to kill the queen. She insists on dying in battle rather than continuing in their death-filled land. This inspires everyone to fight for her. In her castle, Ravana has consumed the youth of dozens of women to regain her strength. At dawn, Snow White leads her army back to Ravana's castle. The dwarves enter through the sewers and sneak inside the gates. The dwarves reach the top of the gates and defeat the knights, while Snow White's army reaches the beach. Flaming catapults and arrows are launched at the army, but they continue forward. The dwarves soon open the gates, but more knights stop them. Upon defeating them, the dwarves hurry to open the gate by putting weight on its pulley. Finally, the army enters the castle. The knights engage in combat while Snow White searches for Ravana. She spots her in the tower, so she fights her way to her. When Eric sees Snow White running up the tower, he and William follow. Snow White approaches Ravana, and soon, her knights follow behind. Ravana unleashes black crystals upon the men, and the crystals then turn into monstrous knights. While the men are busy, Ravana taunts Snow White. The queen easily evades her attacks and holds her as the knights are overwhelmed. Snow White struggles out of her grasp, but is still helpless against her. Ravana throws her sword away and stands in the fire, claiming that she cannot be defeated. She aims to stab Snow White again, but the princess deflects her blade, then stabs her in the stomach. Ravana fearfully moves away from Snow White as she dies. Finally, the evil queen takes her final breath. Soon, life is brought back to the kingdom as Snow White is crowned as queen. The people, including those who've helped her in her journey, hail their new queen. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.